Good morning, California. Oh, God damn it. Wrong show. Uh, hi. So I forgot to add in one crucial part of this entire environment, and that is the lighting setup because it was asked for. So I'm going to give it to you because X can't give it to you anymore. He quit. He's out of the music business. And frankly, he just sucked at what he did, period. So, you know, life. All right, first thing we're going to do is I need to do that because I just want a little more atmosphere in here. So let's start with uh, the main lighting, okay, um, the directional light. So these are the settings that are mostly set by my sky. Uh, the temperature right here is literally set. Let's just set this to 5200. Okay, since it changed nothing. 5200 is considered sort of warm when it's daytime, so it's perfect. Um, these are my settings here. My bloom scale is set to 0 0.02, and I have not touched any light shaft occlusion stuff, okay? So next, we're going to go to the height fog, which honestly, uh, I could deal with probably a little more fog here. Yep, that looks a little better. And it's set to volumetric with scattering distribution up to 9 and uh, X, whatever the hell that is. I'm not good with words, set to 4.8. All right, so let's move on to the post-processing volume. We're going to start up here with global. Now, saturation is currently set to 0 0.98, which technically it should be 1, but I don't know why I didn't just set it to 1 whatever uh, i'm going to set it to a 1.2 does that change it too much no that changes it in a good way uh, next we have bloom set to 1.2 so i'm going to just set everything to main numbers uh ambient occlusion is literally up to max and the radius is set to 200. If you want to set it farther you can Just play around with the values. You know? I think that looks pretty good, actually. So I'm going to leave that at, uh, what is that, 95? Okay. We have global illumination set to 4. And uh, indirect lighting is set to white. And, of course, we have uh, infinite extent on. And that's it for the post-processing. So let's go to skylight. That one's important. So skylight, I have this set to 0 0.3 just to make the shadows a little more a little more presentable, and uh, it's set to movable just like the directional light. And I've not touched this at all, and I'm about to. Okay, the reason why I decided to touch that is uh, I really, really do need that to be more blue. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like at night. So this is what it looks like at nighttime, okay? And you already saw what it looked like on the daytime. Uh, this is the ocean. And that is just a little ridiculous, so we're actually going to deal with that. So just give me one second. That's the sun angle. Stay length, uh, star visibility, day length. Sorry, I think I passed the moon intensity stuff. So we're going to set that to two. Actually, you know what? Let's set that to one. Maybe it's not a good idea to have uh, this on. Yeah, there we go. So let's go back to moon and just reset that. Because moons are bright, right? And the star speed, I'm going to set to 2. 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.05. Because I do want the stars to move. So you're lucky you get to see some stuff in the moon. 
I'm the type of guy that likes a big ass moon. Might bother some people, but honestly, I'm just that guy. Star intensity. Honestly, I like bright stars. Yeah. I just like the way the sky is just so lit up. And that means we can actually do this. Check this out. With the stars so lit up, we could actually turn this down just a bit and a bit more. That is perfect. All right, color scheme is set to one. Technically, we could set it to that or that, but honestly, one is probably the best because just the way it is. And uh, let's go back to normal time of day. So that was a mistake to burn that all the way up. Turn that down. Jesus, look at that. I am going to need to find a way to deal with this lighting to make it probably... A, oh, my God. Oh, whatever. We're just going to reset that there. And... that there honestly that doesn't look right so as for the daylight I think I'm going to need to probably reset that inside of uh, here which right here just put that down. Now, there is something else I want to try. It's atmospheric fog. Let's turn that down to normal. That just gives us uh, a more blue sky. And we're not going to multiply the density of anything. I just want to turn that up just a bit. Now, as for this, I kind of want to go a little bit cheap here. Okay, and I'm going to need to probably max this to like 9 million. That's probably going to give it a little better effect. And her leg actually never goes down, which kind of sucks, but yeah. So this is the overall effect she'll get. The sun's going up. The shadows are all there. We got dense foliage in here. And honestly, it does look pretty damn cool. Uh, reflection capture needs to be rebuilt, so... How do I do that? There we go. I think that has to be built from in here. Oh, there we go. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And your final outcome should be very, very beautiful. Bye-bye.